What is up, you beautiful human beings? I hope you guys are doing really well. Today we're going to do Spire of the Watcher, right? And here's the build. So we've got a Sunbracer Titan, so solar. And our aspects are Solid Invictus and Roaring Flames. Our Fragments, Torches, Ashes, Searing, and Imperium. We're using Synthesis. Um, we'll also change it up and use Paragel Gauntlets, but it'll stay the same. Make sure you have three heavy handed on so we can get that over power. And I have a recuperation on my legs as well as two surges. But that's totally up to you what you want to use. When we do use power gas, we're going to change from hammer assault to burning more. And cool. And I'm just checking everything here. So there's a lot of solar damage. I think I want to know if there's anything else. To be honest, as we go through the videos, I will change things up and talk to you about it. I'm using Sleeper Stimulant for my heavy, and yeah. When there's any tips, if there's tips that I think I should say or anything that comes to mind, I'll let you know. Other than that, I'll probably try and keep silent as well. But we'll go how we feel. So I use a one-two shot shotgun just to help me get that punch up. Um, when dealing with um, when dealing with other people, so I'll punch them and I'll shoot them and then melee them. And I'm just using gain stability in my fire strike for some reason. It's really stable without it, and I find myself I'm better off having recall than I am not having recall. So I don't know what's wrong with me, but let's go, baby. Let's do it. Spire of the Watcher. <laughs> Jumping can kill you here a lot too, so you just gotta be careful with it. Bounce to bounce to bounce. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day, a beautiful night, a beautiful afternoon, whichever one it is, baby. Grateful for living. Boom, boom. I don't know what to say. That's how bored I am. You can use a sword here, you don't really need a heavy right now so eager edge to get this done a lot quicker you can once you kill this guy or go and go at that certain point um enemies will spawn now the nodes are pretty simple and you see like i've done this so many times so just practice makes perfect you'll see that i already know where they all are and that's just again just sitting in the activity for a while and practicing there's a little void damage here and solar. Actually, no solar. There's a lot more solar. They all hit solar. Um, each place kind of has, I think, four, four or five. Um, but you can get this done if you know it all off the heart. Pretty easy and simple. Always try and aim to the middle of those nodes because they sometimes won't work. And the starter node always has like a little box above it, which I'll show you in the next section. So we just did two, there's two on each side. So down here, you don't have to actually go down into that hole. You can go all the way to the corner. You'll just be able to get it. And that saves you a bit of time too. And then there's a little like hole in the bottom left there, but that's like a glass pane that's closed up. So you won't be able to actually hit it. All right, I think we're up to the last one now. So if you see above that, oh, Oh, sorry, on the sides of that box, there was like, on the side of that node, there was two boxes. That's good too. On Master, this can be really difficult, so it's better to just skip because you have the big guys shooting, um, sniping you. And it's better to not finish the nodes until you finish everything else because when you finish one of them, uh, succulents spawn in and there are harpies that blow up on you. So it's better to finish all of them, they'll spawn in and disappear like you just saw. That's it. Watch this jump here. This will kill you. Oh, well, it will hurt you. Like, yeah. Ow. Boom, zoom, zero to 100 real quick, eh? There are a lot of circ uh, circuits. There are a lot of uh, secrets in this in this area just before the first boss fight. Um, It's pretty easy to get. Uh, I wouldn't do it on a solo run, though. A flawless run. Please be aware. Flawless runs mean no secret chest, baby. Unless it's easy. Like, um, Spire, it's actually really easy. But it actually, no, it requires you to get... Oh, Prophecy. What is the Prophecy? 
some duality duality is secrets uh, secret chests are actually super easy to get so like there's no threat to them whatsoever this one you have to go to a different area and sometimes that could be just extra things you don't want to do now I'm just using high lift here I think um, it's important to note that if you are doing this on your hunter to use stompies because these jumps can be a bit difficult also if you see I don't know if you could hear it from my jump but I am canceling my jump and then jumping back so I'll jump move forward a bit cancel drop and as I drop I move forward and then I jump again and I just keep managing my jump this way and that's the best way I have to making this you make it all the time with Thailand if you do it and I think with Warlock too hunters though I, I had trouble with hunters and I always have to use stompies but you can also eager edge from that from the first platform all the way to the end um, I don't know if I show you that here but I knew I was trying I wanted to speak about it so yeah when I did this on my so when I did this on my hunter Fun fact, that was the first time I solo flawless this on a hunter. Yeah, I just skipped all of this. Yeah, I don't think I skipped here. I thought I almost missed here, to be honest. But yeah, you can, from the first um, platform you get up to, you can skip to this. And then me just wanted to disorient everyone, even myself. And swing. <laughs> When I first soloed this dungeon, let me think. I uh, it took me six hours to do it on a hunter void. Ouch! I was getting back in the game and decided I was soloing. I wanted to solo this, and um, yeah, six hours is a long, long time to do this on. But now, uh, when I flawless, when I finally ended up flawlessing, and I actually did it in an hour and a half, and I beat my time here. I think. I didn't really need a flag, but whatever. That jump can kill you, so be careful. Alright, let's go. This is so in you could do this in master, just this encounter alone, just this part, and um just replay it and you'll get good artifice armor out of it. Alright. I like to start on the right and get those two nodes. And it's just a matter of uh, getting these to the top right, um, top left, sorry, on the right side will be where your first nodes are. I remember when I first did this and I had to like follow the nodes and actually see where they're going. I also remember once there was a guy in our clan who never ran this before and I took him to the right side and actually that's the hardest part because those nodes are way up in the air and a bit hard to, to see. Now, you can shoot two, three nodes at a time. Just know that there's a small timer before they stop being... Um, if you if I shoot the wrong node, there is a timer before it stops being activated. Oh, yes, I remember this. I got stuck here too. And anyway, so... Yeah, I didn't know how to get out. <laughs> I really did it. <laughs> um, do not kill the, harp, the, the big... Um, Oh, what are they called? I don't know what they're called. The big flying vex eye thing in Mobobby. Because if you kill them, succulent spawn. We don't want them. Anyway, yeah, what I was saying is like my friend, yeah, I told him to go to the right side. And I got mad at him because he couldn't get it. And I was like, oh my god. I realized at the end. So as I, as the, at the end, I said sorry. I'm going to mean to be mad. So I shot that node up top, right? And I have a, a few minutes, a few seconds, sorry, before it goes away. So I can activate another node and they'll all activate. Um, if you do it that way, though, sometimes they don't, um, pardon me, sometimes they glitch a little bit. And then I always like to turn around and just go back and do the next side because the first node is in that little area that we got the first time. But this second node is just down here. You'll see me get it right now. Yeah. So that can be a bit tricky. So instead of going all the way around, turning around and hitting it, you just go back. And it's just the fastest way of doing it. Yeah, so I said sorry to him and I hope that we're cool. <laughs> Haven't talked to him in a while. Uh, but yeah, I noticed that I gave him the hardest part of the dungeon to do of this run and it was my fault. I should have been a bit more patient. I was a bit tired and we do have... we we. Look, there was a lot of things going on, but there's no excuse to treat everyone with respect. So on the third run, so this is the last level. It's actually the nodes are the exact same on either side. 
right? So I shot, that's the beginning. So I'm shooting that. And I'm gonna finish from this, I turn around. So it's the beginning, then it's the bottom right here. And then you jump up here and it's this one. And then you start working your way up and it's the ones on top left that you'll always see. It's the exact same on both sides. So on the other side, it's the same. It's the first one, then on the bottom, and then on the, on the other area. So just know, uh, instead of following all the nodes, it's ex if you know one side, you know the other. That was it. The grenade launcher from this encounter uh, in a sec from this dungeon is actually really nice, especially with disruption grenades. It's really good. And the last secret will be in that room as well. <sighs> Story time with Rex, I can say. Now this encounter is lengthy, very lengthy, but on the on the Titan, I realized the best way to deal with it is to um, use Sleeper with Radiancy. And I love having a Trace Rifle to kill all the eyes of the boss. Uh, when you get to damage phase, your boss... Um, your boss will uh, have um, all these eyes you got to shoot, and the faster you shoot, and the better. So I'm using Sleeper, I'm using Chase Rifle, I'm using one from Ron, and I'm using Firefly with uh, um, Osmosis, which is when I poke my grenade, the weapon gets the ability, the subclass ability that I have. So it'll be solar. So it'll help with my Imperium, which is getting a kill. With a solar weapon, while radiancy will get you an, uh will keep radiancy propped, hand restoration. So I'm going to do this. I do that, and now I have restoration, and now my restoration increases, and I'm just using Firefly. This uh, dungeon, I have had trouble getting ammo using it this way, um, so it might not be a bad idea to get um, some reserves on as well. And also, uh, uh, before we get into that one, so the node section, <coughs> the best way to figure it out is if, if it's on the right, the next node will be on the left. So you know, this is on the left, the one's in the middle, that's fine. But you'll notice the pattern is, is that simple. The one, one node, if you shoot a node on the right, up top left will be the next node, right? So just keep that in mind for this part of the encounter. And I forgot what I was going to say before. So I shoot this, then this one's going to be down here. And then the next one's on the right. right. And then when I go up, it'll be on the left. See? So yeah, just imagine all places. And practice. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, I've had issues with um, yeah ammo. So because, again, if I kill all the harpies, they're going to drop ammo, which they do. And then eventually, they're not that you know, open space, baby. So it's a bit hard, but I was good. This I never had to like sit and grind for ammo, which is which is cool. With double heavy ammo finders on it, it's good. I really wish they do up it a bit more, so I can use other weapons and not have to worry about. Um, so I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's a fine balance, and the game is trying to figure it out. Yeah, but this is like lengthy as well. So practice makes perfect. My friend can do like two or three of these by the time I do one. <laughs> He's so quick. So, um, yeah. And sleep is simulating that you need about eight bullets. You know, um, you can run around eight for a phase. And the music in this in this level, even though it's nice, it is it is stressful. It pushes you. Like, da -da 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 -da. So. Um, that's another tip when doing this, you can put the music down a little bit or turn it off completely and you'll just be okay. I know when I do these runs, I always have the game playing like normally and I always end up putting Spotify on and just listening to some chilled music or some really aggressive ones. Now, uh, the, people say to leave one harpy alive. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't remember. I think it does something with the spawns. But I like to just kill them all, make sure all harpies are down when we go to damage phase. You don't want to deal with that you know, flinch damage, you know what I mean? And I make sure my armor charges are still up. Um, so I can always have, um, you know, uh, weapon resist ones. Now with the eyes, I like to take this route where I start on the right. And by the, you'll notice like the guy does change his, his weapons and stuff. 
his eyes. So I start on the left, sorry, and I just make my way up. And then I shoot with my hammer to proc radiancy and I start aiming with the sleeper. Now, a good tip is you can actually, if you position yourself on the left side of that hole and you just keep going forward, you'll always make it without falling off. But as long as I can hit all my sleeper shots, which I didn't do right there. Oh, you might actually, more than eight bullets. But yeah, you see this other phases are a bit better too. And that's it. And if when he goes to explode, you want to make sure you're not close enough because he can he does kill you. And not and if you're if you're close enough, he will throw you back super fast. So you want to be a little bit further back than normal. You can just jump down and he'll explode and nothing will happen to you. So that's another thing to do. Yeah, I remember when using double special. Oh, it was so easy. Just chase rifle the whole thing and just chill and relax. Oh, I need ammo. And that was the thing is I need ammo with double special. It was I need ammo, so I'm going to go get ammo. Not I'm going to sit here, fire like crazy, and hope for an ammo break to drop. But anyway, it's okay. It's all right. I've learned to um, accept. <laughs> I actually had a lot of issues with Bungie and the game and just the way I feel about it. And I feel like it was more about how I, I love this game so much and I would love it to be like my own thing. I lost my hammer there. I didn't. Oh no, I picked it up. And I like to like have my own thing. Me thinking. I don't. Even, I don't have restoration proking here uh, because I don't have osmosis proked. So that's a problem. I wonder if I realize it. But yeah, I just realized with the game is like even though I love the game and I want the game to be um, good and what I I would love it to be good. It's not my game and it's not. It's Bungie's and. I will learn to respect it. Um, in here you want to do one void or two void. One void and two solar. You can do resistance mods. You can do two void but the boss hits harder and he hits solar and the acolytes hit as well. Yeah. I never realized I didn't. I, was, I ran out of osmosis. I'm sitting here using it all. Thinking my um, restoration is coming up. You don't need recuperation on this part you can it's your choice I prefer to always have recuperation on um, it's just a be thing um, a good tip also is when you complete and just to understand is when you complete a node um, that's when all the harpies will spawn uh, the harpies will spawn in that one direction so it's just important if you did I shoot it already? I think I did. Rex, you have no restoration proc in when you do this. Do you notice now? I do. Maybe just use it for help. Yeah. So you can those those ways around. You could do all of them at once and then kill all the harpies, and that's a bit intense because there are a lot of enemies. Or you can do one node and then harpy kill, one node, harpy kill. It's your choice. I like to do two or three nodes before I get harpy kills. Um, I buy myself a bit easier too, and I can always proc restoration if I really wanted to with uh, with my hammer as well. I like to do damage on this side as well. It's just, just a me thing. You want to make sure no enemies are on top. I love the fact that I can just record and have this. Like I think a lot of companies should do this. And I think Bungie for it is the fact that I can put record with the game music and just be happy. Hammer. Um. Four, one, two. If you use like grenade launchers, supers, and stuff like that, the boss moves quicker towards the center. As you look, like that phase was really good. Um, so you just want to really, really be careful on uh, what you use for damage and how many times you want to do this. Like I said, it is very lengthy. I found with damage testing, my hammer. <laughs> I found with damage testing. Um, 
Don't explode, baby. I need you. Thanks. Um, lament was better than um, than all the other ones. I mean, it's like sleeper simulant was better than all the other ones. Sleeper was better than uh, the rest. Uh, cataclysmic. It was better than. Um, scatter signal, it was better than, um, the bow, Leviathan's breath, you just get so much more out of it. Obviously, Leviathan's, that, like, you can also do this, I've noticed a lot of people do this on Arc, Hunt, uh, Arc Titan, and they get that, um, the Thunder Crash up on them, and it's really good damage, so, maybe, but... In my view, it's just like just get sleeper, get it done, move quickly, and just move it. Because I don't want to do an extra phase in this. This is really taxing. This encounter it takes a while. This is this encounter will be up there with one of the, some of the Ghost of the Deep Dungeon ones. Uh, just in the fact that the bosses help us a lot, but like I almost did half of a damage. If I did, if I did the first phase properly, it would be good as well. The music's designed to be. Yeah, what I was saying, I'm, I'm sorry. I just... uh, times like this where I feel like I'm talking too much, but at the same time, I'm just being me. And I feel like um, that's a bad thing. Like, why is it bad? It's not bad being me. It's alright. People will tolerate it. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think Bungie that I can at least stream this and listen to music, listen to the game music and be okay with it, and there won't be any copyright issues. I think that's amazing. It's it's so underrated to find a game that that can do that. I'm using this because I switched over to um, get no enemies. I switched over. I don't have osmosis, and I don't. I want to use save my healing grenade just for the just in case, you know. Justin always has a case, as mom says. <laughs> she always says, why is a crooked letter when you ask her why? Okay, mom. I like this uh, trace rifle. I think it's the key is Tempest, I don't know. Because it does have reconstruction on it, and you just get more ammo than you need to. Like, I just used 100 there. Got reconstruction incandescent, and it's crafted. Highly recommend doing the road and raid to get it. Super important. It runs not that bad. Yeah. So if I did the first phase properly and I didn't miss that one or two shots, I actually probably would have completed it there. And now that it's just so quick and easy, yeah, I'm just gonna try and blast through this. I th I think I remember trying to blast through it. I recorded this a while ago and I don't. It actually, took me a long time to get um. Actually, took a long time to to get the flawless run, which is crazy for me. And I think I beat my time by like by a by a lot, twenty minutes, I think. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Maybe the next step is to do um, speed runs and try to actually become a better speedrunner and player. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I do notice that I would love to have like 100 mobility on all characters. That would be fun. <laughs> uh, but that's delusional in my opinion. Like I, I'd rather not give up on... Um, I don't need discipline for this build because I'm going to get my grenade back quickly and my melee back instantly. So I don't really need anything like that. So people say recovery. Yeah. I'd say just put in more bit on resilience and mobility. The reason why I say that is because I've noticed that there are a lot of things that if you do quicker, it's a bit better, just easier, get more better times, move quicker in the air, in, in, just in general. But like goes to the deep in the water, it's most important because the lower the mobility, the faster that guy, the second boss runs at you. The first boss, sorry, runs at you. Trace rifles need a bit more love. 
and swords. Bungie, make it so that we can just get heals with swords and stop buffing stuff. I mean, nerfing things that we don't want nerfed. <laughs> It's like people aren't using the aren't, are you using the lament and all other stuff. Yeah, it's because it heals you. <laughs> Screw about damage, it heals you. It does good damage too, but it heals you. Yeah. Made the game harder, baby. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So I have no ammo still. I'm, I know I was trying to get ammo as well. I think at the end of this phase, I pick it up. So just a refresher, tips uh, is really simple with the nodes. If you hit it left, the next one will be right. Um, so just worry about that. Worry about the boss, he can rip you off here too. So just be careful, be a bit aware of where he is. Kill all harpies before damage phase, so you have a clean damage phase with no flinch. Uh, if you're using uh, like edge trains, if you're using grenade launchers, rockets or sometimes some supers the boss will fly towards the back end um, and then if you're doing damage if you hit the side of the if you hit the side of the the platform you won't fall into the hole Shoot all the eyes, you want a weapon that's strong enough to shoot them all immediately or um, do it. Rufus is cool too, but again, it just takes a bit longer to shoot the eyes because this counts as damage. So shooting the eyes is counting as your damage phase as well. And I was really lucky here to actually not have power gills on there. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Uh, trying to snipe him. This was the last season of The Witch, a week before. Oh, the new season, what's it called? The final shape. Vault shot on a machine gun is one of the worst things you can get, to, in my opinion. <laughs> it takes forever to reload it. And I don't think vault shot activates with, um, with the hunter dodge. So I'm just showing you my edge transit because I'm. I think I'm gonna switch over now to the next build, which is edge transit, and I want reserves on. I'm just doing this so that I have later on everything ready. So edge transit, um, scatter signal, and um, sunshot. Those are the. That's for the final boss encounter. And I haven't switched over to my reserves, so there's no point to need it. There's no point in needing it until the end. So, uh, yeah. How do I explain this? If you don't know about this encounter, there's pretty much five red uh, nodes that you gotta get. The red nodes uh, close after a while, so if you don't get them all at once, they'll close and you have to restart them. And the yellow nodes will stay open forever, type of thing. So now that I got the buff, I'm going to stand in this platform because you can see every one of them. One, two, three, four, and five, right? But here's a tricky thing in this thing is that you have to go down here into these vents. And in these vents, there are um, things to watch out for. So this is the best way that I found to use them. It's actually a really good way. First of all, don't jump because above you is a fan. Find the platform you need to go to. So there it is. Go to the opposite side and then wait for the thing to spawn in and then move right that's the fastest and easiest way and safest way that i have found so there's the platform now the other thing is when it platforms like that when you walk towards it it actually puts you up a little bit so don't panic don't jump just walk off it fall down and then go to it that's the best way of doing this i wish i knew this from my other runs i found that out recently yeah and you should be fine all the time take your time take it slow um, get it done. Sunshot's really good at killing all these enemies because you got to kill a lot of them before the next phase starts. They won't start if you don't. And 
And again, standing on this platform here, the one in the middle, it's actually pretty cool because you can actually see all of them at once. Um, although I do get lost in this one. For some reason, it's the one that did not stick. And I find it at the end, it's on the right side right there. But it was too late. Three, four. I just switched my weapon. There's no point in reloading. I don't have time. I don't want to do it again. So again, watch out when you go down at those vents. Don't jump because there's a there's a fan above you. Um, when you find the place you want to do, you'll notice that little jump area. So you'll see here. I need to go to my left. So when I jump across here, I'm gonna. It's it's actually drops me. It doesn't. Um, it's not like it's not. It's just a little lower than the actual vent thing so again here it just jumps me so be careful yeah this one's pretty easy so i i never had it be this easy and i died so many times on my flawless runs on this so just be careful that's a really good tip here i just switch over to this i find it a bit better because it has more ammo um because it's a circuit so there's a bunch of red circuits all around you and you want to get them before the timer runs out and there's one in the middle as well sleeper is good to hear too because um, it kills the hoppy the hoppy that big thing in the middle you'll see it now you'll see it soon that one I don't know what they're called I forget if you know what they're called put it down in the comments incinerate hydras that's it don't worry about putting it in the com in the com <laughs> don't worry about commenting baby it's fine all right now it's very important to be quick here because it's just like a, a second or two before they all close so you gotta be really careful so it's gonna close soon really soon boom and i got it so you just gotta be careful and there is a secret chest here and i think i go for it because it's simple it's uh, it's not underneath here uh, it's underneath one of the stairs I think you want disorienting grenades and auto loading holster and then whatever comes with it. It shoots two grenades at once. Um, and it's that's pretty cool. This grenade launcher. Wilder flight. So I got auto loading pilots and disorienting the other one. So that one wasn't the best. I don't need melee melee energy, especially with this build. right let's get out of here fun fact three guardians in that little hole no nah. <laughs> it's not fun getting out yeah and then the exit is in the opposite direction so it's here or on the other side right opposite this one back to sunshot like so i got solo solo and oh yeah maybe i changed this arc definitely oh sorry two void and one solar Hundred percent, because the you can't do concussive dampener, because the void damage is so much in this. We trying to get in the hole. We're gonna go power gel gauntlets this time. So seriously, all I do is switch to power gels, and switch everything back. You can use uh, Riptide if you want. Just you want something with a bit of range. So again, two void, one solar. I'm using Air Transit with Bait and Switch and Envious Assassin. And just showing you that it's burning more. Everything else is the same, just burning more. All right, um, really quick. Uh, on this so there is a place where succulents will spawn as well so in this section they didn't so it's on the next section uh, where the other hydra is and uh, you just want to make sure you're not in that section because you will die there is a safe spot which I'll, so if I go through that door right now 
there's a safe spot. But again, I threw my hammer first just to get Radiancy because Radiancy will go for the shields. So yeah, this is safe. I can stay in here all day long. Changing these because I've got void surges on. Changing um, all day long. I can stay in here and be safe. So proc restoration. Try. Oh yeah, this I didn't. That guy's shield. I couldn't proc restoration. I couldn't keep getting restoration because of the hydro. The hobby Percy's. But I can't kill everyone. It's important to note, like without Radiancy, they take about two hits to kill. With Radiancy, it's about one. Um, also to understand that like three of them exploding on you, even though you're up in the air, will kill you. So always make sure you reload, especially when you're using stun shot, because the mag is low. You know. At the end of the video, I, I show you um, some little tips that I forgot to show you. I would have probably better if I showed you in the beginning, but I didn't want to. So, so as you can see, I'm really low right now, and I haven't finished locking the door. Just be careful of those harpies. So I think the best thing to do is be aware on where the harpies are at all times and where they're spawning. So I know they're not going to be in the middle anymore or on the left, but I know they're on the right right now. So I reload before I get to them. And I'm trying to run away from them as well. So just be aware of them and where they are. And this takes a lot of practice. So I have both nodes on the right. Yeah. So the way the encounter works is pretty simple. You want to open the door by shooting the red nodes first. Once all the nodes are open, the, hop, the Percy's will go in and out of that door to get to both rooms. Um, that's why before you do that, you can stay in the other room and you don't have to worry about him coming to you. The nodes can switch from right or left or both of them, so don't feel like it's immediate. Practice where the nodes are is really important. So now they spawn, so I'm going to try and kill them. Or kill one at least. Be careful when jumping and being around Percy because he boops you off, he does a slam on the ground, so you really want to be away from him. I've died so many times to him just doing that. Died to jumps as well. So be careful not jumping all the way. You're not Spider-Man jumping from one area to the other area and Percy's halfway in between, stamps you and you're screwed. So just be careful. I'm playing, I don't know, ring around a Rosie with Percy. You can shoot both nodes at the same time, but you want to make sure Percy's in the room before you do. And I don't think my first phase goes really well. I'll explain to you what... Oh, I didn't shoot the next one. I thought I did. Must have missed it. What I do um, to make the phase a little bit stronger and better. So I'm just waiting for Percy to come back in the middle. That could have killed me right there. So as you see, there's a lot of damage happening. Pre-nerf to this build, you know, you can smack your hammer so many times and get heals as you do it. And it's cool killing all these enemies because I get to long range weapon, get to kill them immediately and, you know, also a exotic with the heavy finders on. So now I got to close the door. So bam. Bam, 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 and bam. And then I go for a kill to proc um, Radiancy. That was super important with this build. Super important. And then I have bait and switch on, obviously. So I'm using power gales. I'm making sure the end of my hammer kill hits Percy. All right. I think he should have been a little bit closer. And I got to aim a bit higher up. Yeah. And I'm moving on the way back, but I also notice that eventually I move so far back that I, I won't be able to move any further. So that takes time and practice to. Um, when Percy reaches there, he ends. That takes some time and practice to uh, to know um, where where it is that you have to move. Sometimes when he shoots those void 
projectiles at you too. You can move to the left and to the right and to the left, to the right. And it kind of misses you. Still hits you, but kind of misses you. So uh, just be aware of that as well. We obviously have also the buff uh, on the artifact. We won't have it when this video comes out. Um, but we did have the radiant buff where uh, hitting an enemy precision shots will give you radiancy. And that's how I got my radiancy from here. I think it was precision, but I don't know. I just blew that guy up and got radiancy. So maybe solo damage, continuous solo damage. I just comes towards a smack him with my hammer. Can't wait for the next campaign. Doors open now. It's important when you have a transit on and well when you have envious and uh whatever on your heavy or oh, it's important to switch to that weapon and switch back um because sometimes it doesn't it stops working after a while and that's a good way to proc it so both of them are on the same nodes we just do it again cool I think this went from, I'm going to share my tips with you too. I'm just going to talk to you for pretty much the whole dungeon. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for Percy to get in this room. Or oh, I'm hoping for Percy to get in this room. Yeah, I think I'm full on like the mag too. At one point, I think I shot him 24 times. Which was awesome. Yeah, having recuperation when you pick up an overpower just helps. This build used to be good and you didn't need it, but used to be. I mean, it's still okay. It's still good. It's just not as. <laughs> it's still a good build. It's just not what we can have like before. <laughs> uh. Give me, yeah, that's fine. We had like a 40% damage boost using this, and it's no longer pliable. I think that was with synthesis, though. To be honest, it was good too, because now we're using Power Girls as well, and now they're both a very cool option. So I get it. I mean, for me personally, I wouldn't. Uh, again, that's me proccing Radiancy, which is really important. For me, properly, it's a bit hard. Uh, to come up with things so Bungie's trying the hardest to do damage to do uh, to balance everything I guess so again I have radiancy while going in here this is a lot better phase look at the health bar you'll see really matters and where I put that hammer thing so I'm waiting for him a bit closer that's perfect boom boom but I'm already at half I already did more than enough so shooting, I'm counting bait and switch too in my mind. I'm thinking about how much more is bait and switch and stuff. And we're good. Always proc here, restoration. And make sure you kill anything that lingers in this room. radiancy is coming out and the boss can get there so you just want to kind of watch out keep rocking restoration go for boss for go for happy I mean Hydra don't worry too much there are times where I'm sitting there and I'm like I got nothing and the Hydra's killing me you'll see I think next phase oh this one maybe I don't know if you go closer, those um, harpies will smack you too, will come at you, so just be careful with them. Yeah, I think this is the one where I get so much damage done. Yep. <laughs> Keep safety, I guess. But I want to get the kill! Yay! <laughs> Da, 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 da. 
And look at that. That's just two shots. Big boss! Big boss! Run away! You don't want to be... You don't want the big boss near you. Trust me, in this dungeon you just don't want it. You can avoid it. That's better. And you don't need to shoot the nose head on. You just gotta touch him. Uh, but sometimes you gotta be careful if you shoot the wrong thing. Didn't think I had my um. So I'm just trying to get up as high as possible. And I'm scared. Honestly, I'm scared watching it. <laughs> All right, they're on different sides now. So another tip, so I'm going to tell you this now and then later in the video I know I show you this because I think it's really important. So sometimes when you follow the uh, when you follow the cables towards the node, they don't really make that much uh, sense. Um, so uh, I'll show you, um, I'll explain a bit better next time. You'll see what I mean. This one's my, I hate this part because it's that, then up, then there. But there's always just one more. So like in this one, it's on my right. But when you look down at that cable, it's going to show you that it's like on my left. Right? And that's the thing I'm trying to talk to you about. So I'm waiting for Percy to come in. Percy, Habibi, he's in here. Making my way downtown. Grass is fast, I don't know. Moving, blast, I don't know. I put the lyrics. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> Yay. I think I, I thought in my mind that if I can just get a visual on the node, I could be done for. You want Percy in here because Percy, that big explosion gets his shield down or her shield down. So if it's not there, then we're kind of screwed. And you gotta be quick. If you want, if I want radiant, I gotta be quick killing the other things because it's not long. Boom, boom. If you shoot these and you miss them, and the phase ends, the phase ends. You repeat. Awesome. That radiancy covers comes through. Come on. Keep shooting, baiting switch is still active. Yeah, and I think I do one more. Me trying to get it. Yeah, I do one more. But this is a this is a good uh, safe way, in my opinion. It just needs practice. Like I've done this build so much, I've used it so much, so I'm really comfortable with it. And then yeah, making sure you don't jump across the things going, I can do this, to then get screwed completely. But again, always make sure you're um, you're covered. You know, like you can get super complacent. I think it's the right word um, when your health is like this. When the boss's health is like this, you're like, yeah, whatever, I'll do it. You know, be careful because some dungeons they come at you super aggressive. We're so lucky. Percy still has the same mechanic. She's not like the ogres where they just charge you relentlessly. Run away, run away! Oh, we're lucky. <laughs> trying, to, trying to tell my friend that I'm recording at the moment and I can't, like, you know, talk to him. And then I opened it up and YouTube was like, out of my head, out of my mind. Sorry, everyone. 
probably mute that too because <sighs> that too okay all right let's go boom boom all right yeah I'm more than enough ready to go so I'm not worry too much Make sure those doors get closed. Yeah, you want to make sure you have attrition. Don't forget, shooting an attrition buff will give you a few more seconds on it as well. Somewhere from like 15 there to 31. Um, yeah. Um, lucky that Radiancy is just hitting them with a hammer. You don't have to get kills with a hammer. But I'm about to ruin it. Yeah, I don't have it anymore. Oh, it gives you 10. Good to know. Boom. Boom. Yay! Percy's dead. Maybe if I did that first phase properly and not aim too low and aimed a bit higher. Congratulations! Woo, we did it! Um, just check out that thing. And you know what? That's not a bad role, target log and demo. Not for, um, you could do damage with it. It's not bad. But yeah, I would rather something else than demo. Now I think yeah, I'm gonna show you so I went to show you this node. I went to show you all of them, but I actually stopped halfway through and went, what am I doing? But I'm gonna show you what I mean here. Um with following the cable. When you look down here oh, I didn't even show you properly. That's the cable that you want. Whatever box it gives you that's the one you want to do. When you look down there into the cable, it actually moves to the left, so you think it's the other side, but it's not. So look at this one right here. If you look down, it shows you it's going to the left, but it's not. It's actually right. So just be aware of it. Anyway, thank you, everyone. Peace and love. God bless.